OK, so let's have a look at how we can reverse video clips using FFmpeg. So I've got a couple of clips here, so let's just play the first one. And as you can hear, it's got an audio track on it. And it's basically just a glass of water being poured. So let's quit that. And let's just use FFmpeg to reverse the video. So FFmpeg dash I and our input file's name is glass.mp4. And we need to use a video filter, so dash VF, and the filter is called reverse. And now let's set up our video codec, so dash C colon V, and I'm going to use H264 underscore NVENC, as that will just work a lot faster. And I'm just going to set a QP value to 16 for that encoder. And now all we need to do is supply an output file name, so let's just call it rev dash glass dot mp4 and hit enter and we're done so if we take a look we have that file so let's play it with mpv so you can see the video has been reversed but the audio is still playing normally so let's quit that so if we wanted to reverse the audio as well Let's just use the same command. So let's modify this a tiny bit. All we need to do, and I'm going to put it in before we set up the video codec. So we need to use an audio filter to reverse the audio. So dash AF, and the audio filter is called A reverse. So that's audio reverse. And we can set up our output audio codec, but I'm just going to leave it as is for now. And if we just hit enter, and replace our previous file. Now let's try and play our clip. So MPV rev glass to MP4. You can see that the audio is now reversed as well as the video. So let's try the same approach, but with the other file that we have. So let's just ls. So you can see I've got this other file called mt audio dash glass and let's use ffmpeg to take a look at that so ffmpeg dash i mt audio dash glass so you can see that this file has got two audio streams so stream one and stream two so let's just play it so mpv mt audio so there's track one and that's track two so let's try and reverse that using FFmpeg. So FFmpeg dash I and it's MT audio. And we're going to use the video filter again. So dash VF reverse. And let's reverse the audio as well. So dash AF A reverse. And let's set our output codec for the video. So dash C colon V. And again, H264 underscore NVENC. And I'm just going to set the QP to 16. And now all we need to do is provide an output file name. So let's call it rev-mt.mp4 and hit enter. OK, so that's done. So let's try and play it. So mpv rev-mt.mp4. So the audio and video have been reversed. Let's see about our other track. So. If you look down here, you can see that we only have one audio track. So what happened to our second audio track? Let's quit this and let's inspect the file with FFmpeg. So FFmpeg dash I rev dash MT dot MP4. And as you can see, there's only one audio track in this. So to reverse the audio and video of a clip that contains multiple audio tracks, we need to use another method as using the dash VF and dash AF options only operate on the first video track and first audio track of your input file. So let's clear the screen and look at the other method of doing this. So let's just LS and let's remove our rev dash MT file. So RM rev dash MT. And let's look at the other way of doing this. So we're going to start off with FFmpeg and our input file, which is MT audio. And instead of using the dash VF option or the dash AF option, what we're going to use is dash filter 
underscore complex because we're going to use a complex filter graph. And then what we're going to do is open up some double quotes and within those, we're going to select the video from our input file. So square brackets and inside of that zero colon zero. So we're selecting the first stream within our first file and we're going to reverse that. So reverse and we're going to create a labeled output for that. So square brackets again, and we're going to call it rev vid. So that's the video reversed. So now that we've finished reversing the video, let's work on the audio. So put in a semicolon and we're going to start with stream. Let's reverse stream two of the audio. So file zero and our second audio stream, which is two, is going to be our input to a reverse. So a reverse. And let's create an output label for that. So let's call that second track or maybe second a track. So second a track. And we're done with that. So now that our video is being reversed and our second audio track is being reversed, what we need to do is set up our codec for our video. So dash C colon V and I'm going to use H264 underscore NVENC and set the QP to 16. And I'm not going to bother setting the audio codec. I'm just going to rely on FFmpeg's defaults for this. And now what we need to do is we need to use the map option to map our video and audio streams into our finished file. So dash map. And let's start with our video. So a couple of double quotes and inside of that are square brackets and our video output, which was rev vid. And now let's add in our first audio stream from our original file, which is the one that's not being reversed. So dash map square brackets zero colon one, because it's the second stream in our original file. And now let's add in our second audio stream, which is the one that is being reversed. So dash map two double quotes and inside of those are square brackets and the name of our output label, which was second a track. And now all we need to do is provide an output file name. So let's call it rev-mt.mp4 and we're done. And let me just fix that typo. So it's not revivid, it's just revvid. So there we go. And that should do it. Okay, so now we have another problem and it says output with label zero colon one does not exist in any defined filter graph or was already used elsewhere. So let's take a look at that. So that is our first audio stream from our original file. And the way that we can fix this is actually we don't need the square brackets. So if we hit enter now, that should fix it. And there we go. So we have our file which is rev-mt. So let's play it with MPV. So the first audio track is playing normally, which is correct. Our video is playing in reverse and we should have our second audio track playing in reverse. So let's click that, which it is. Okay, so there's just one more thing that you need to remember when using the reverse filter in FFmpeg, and that is it works by loading the entire clip into memory at once. So the longer the clip is, the more memory you will need to have. And that's basically it. So that's brought us to the end of this video on how to reverse video and audio using FFmpeg. I hope you found it useful. If you did, please don't forget to subscribe and also click the like on this video as it really helps the channel. And thanks for watching. Goodbye.